Hey guys, welcome back. Let's take a quick update this week what have been going on. First of all, you may be wondering why I haven't uploaded any videos lately, or at least a little bit less videos than I have done uh, before that. And the reason was that I did start a new job and I have a lot of things ongoing, but I have videoed or shot a lot of videos here, so I have a lot of material I, I just haven't edited and uploaded. And then one of the reasons for that is because I want to get done with my main battery bank, the first stage. And I didn't want to let out any details of what's actually going on about that. So, But today I'm going to show you the actual status of that and what I have been doing. So let's go and let's start. Uh, first of all, my 1860 cells is going quite along. I have, I'm starting to uh, test the last batch. So when that's done, I actually have 30 kilowatt hours of laptop cells that is going to the secondary bank. And fortunately, one of my Opus charges doesn't like me anymore, of some reason, I don't know why. But I have those cells there left to test. And that's one thing. So now, let's go. And I am, have not even had time to clean here. So let's see, my current setup. Um, as you can see here, this dashboard you may have seen before. Right now it's not much of uh, sun going in, actually there are. I have 3.6 kilowatts going out to the grid. And I'm charging the battery with 3 amps for some reason. I don't know why that's so little. So let's take a quick look. Yeah, let's enable charging. So let's see if we can push some data and if you see that now I'm pushing in 70 amps into the battery and I'm charging the battery bank with 3.7 kilowatt. Uh, it's late here now and there's a lot of rain hanging so I won't be getting that much more power today. So basically this is my current setup where I actually monitor what's going on and I'm working continuously on this thing. And as you may have seen, I have been trying out Batrium as well. And quite a heavy setup and I just added the last string. So the guys, let's go upstairs and see what I have been doing. So let's climb up the ladder and you need to bear in mind that this is ongoing and I'm not done. I just got it set up so it's the first test. Let me go back. So here you see it. Three rows. There will be a fourth row on the top but I started with this. So basically let's go through a couple of nerd facts about this, not power wall, perhaps power shelf instead, I don't know. But anyways, um, this one actually consists of lithium iron phosphate batteries, the valence ones. And what you see here is actually 48 of them. Yeah, you heard it right, 48. And there is actually around 400 cells in each of them. So that's basically, if I'm not mistaken, 20,000 cells or something like that. Quite hefty number, yes. Um, three strings, bottom, mid, me, the middle one and the top one. And we have 12 batteries per string, roughly 360 amp hours per shelf. So that ends up a little bit above 1000 amp hours at 48 volt. And for those that wonder how many kilowatt hours is that? Yeah, it's somewhere around 66 kilowatt hours and it's not done. So basically with this, the last shelf and the laptop batteries when that goes into the other secondary bank, I will have somewhere around uh, a little bit above 100 kilowatt hours and at least I get 100 kilowatt hours that is usable. 
So let's take a look a little bit closer. This is far from done. Uh, I will be redoing some parts and I have the Batium Master just lying here at the moment. That will be in the shelf as well. Um, protection for that of course. It's fed with 50 square millimeter cable down to the inverter. Every battery is in between 16 and between the strings it's 25 and from the batteries to that one it's 35 so basically it's actually made up in such a way that I would or should be able to run this on only one string and full load that is 10 kilowatt because every row here can handle 150 amp continuously so every shelf would be able to put up 450 amps it's no limit at all so basically it's more than I need and um, in the videos I have shot is both from actually mounting the Batium slaves or the mons to constructing the shelves to how to uh, how I did put the cables together what length uh, how I did decide the order and everything like that and it also have some part of designing some other aspects of this so basically guys um, this is just a quick update of what's going on if you want to see the numbers again don't forget to actually take a look down below in the description I would have some more information about it uh, if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because in the near future there will be a lot of videos going on about how I did construct this and there is, will also be a lot of videos going on of me actually getting this finished because it's not done and there are several things that need to be taken in consideration too so basically guys thank you for watching and I see you next time bye